In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use filters in Tenable SC for vulnerability analysis and how to set up queries from those filters. Tenable SC has a large number of filters that can be used to help narrow down your vulnerability analysis. You can then save those filters as queries. Queries can be used in many of the other features in Tenable SC, such as reports, dashboards, tickets, and alerts, as well as to quickly reuse the same filters from the vulnerability analysis view. Many of the filters have their own rules as well. Details on specific filters are outside the scope of this particular presentation, however. You can find those details here in the online documentation. Just search for Tenable SC filters. To set filters, expand the Filters pane from the Vulnerability Analysis view. Only a few of the available filters, those that tend to be the most popular, are listed by default. To add additional filters, just click Select Filters. You can scroll through the alphabetical list, or if you know what you're looking for, enter that into the search window. Let's say I want to know which of my Windows 2016 systems have had high or critical vulnerabilities detected within the last seven days. So I'll go ahead and add the asset filter and the vulnerability last observed filters and the severity filter is there by default. Now we go ahead and set my values. Once everything is set the way you want it, go ahead and click Apply All. Let's take this one step further. I want to view which systems are affected, so I'll go ahead and switch this to the IP Summary view. Now I'm looking at everything that I want to. I want to go ahead and save this as a query. Now all you have to do is click Load Query and it'll reload everything. Everything's already loaded there, but it will also include, no matter if you're in a different analysis tool, when you load the query, it loads that as well. You can also manage your queries directly from the Queries page. Here you can add, edit, delete, or share your query. Any query you create is usable by default by all users within your user group. When you share, you share that query with all users in the user group that you're sharing it with. 